Jackie X, Derek Bell, fantastic to see you guys. Jackie, you're looking extremely well. How are you enjoying the race? Well, it's good to see you too, huh, Alan? Because I think you have a number of podiums as well. I don't know if we have speak about it. Uh, yeah, I've got a few, but uh, you know, we're always chasing yourself and Derek, that was for sure, that was for sure. But uh, how is things for you? Are you enjoying this uh, simulated race? Well, I think, um, yes, I must uh, say that I'm uh, totally amazed. I think it looks fantastic. Uh, it's unbelievable what the technology can do. It's incredible to see uh, that the competitors are in Tokyo, Buenos Aires, New York, and everywhere around the world. And I think the initiative of the SEO to organize for the very first time um, a virtual 24 hours to celebrate that legendary race from the uh, who is almost 100 years old now to celebrate all those who have done it before, uh, those who do it today. And in common, definitely, we have the passion for the same sport with uh, automobile racing. Derek, you know, are you in yeah. the USA watching this? Did you just wake up and start it, or have you seen the start of this race? I've been watching, well, I've been watching it for far too long, really. <laughs> Um, but, uh, you know, I was up early this morning and I picked up the first hour of it as well, bits of it. So, yeah, I've seen quite a lot of it. But it's a very hot day here. It's like 90 degrees. So I'm actually sitting in the kitchen because it's a bit cooler than my study. You know, that was one thing about your era when you were teammates. You had to be adaptable. You had to think on the strategy. You had to have a feeling for the car. How it, what's your sort of view on the way that this new evolution of uh, racing is coming around? Well, I mean, this well, idea... Uh, uh, don't speak with, oh, look, we don't speak together. Huh? Yeah, no, we'll, we'll no. give this one to Derek, shall we, Jackie? Uh, yeah, well, uh, <laughs> but you know, I never know what he's going to say. That's he's why we're going brother. to give it to... That's why we're going to give it to Derek. It's my brother. <laughs> Uh, can I just interrupt before, I don't know how many minutes we've got. Just now, Jackie, I was doing something for a, for a book, a forward for a book. Sorry, I have to bring this up, Alan. And lo and behold, there it is. How did you get into Ferrari? And lo and behold, um, I suddenly realized that I had a test drive with Ferrari at a place called Crystal Palace way back in July, back in 1968. And Jackie was driving at a Crystal Palace and I was going to test it on the Monday after the race. And I then came across it. Jackie Hicks crashed the bloody thing, and I never got in it to test. And I went, and I thought, that's the end of my career at Ferrari. <laughs> and now Jack is my greatest friend. But at that time, I'm going, who's this bloke Hicks that goes around crashing the car? I'm going to have a test drive. I bet you don't. Re you remember it, Jackie, but you won't remember that I was you. No, I don't today. think. I think, Derek, you're getting old. That's the problem. Because at the start, I was hit by somebody else and I could not compete and the car was not repairable. So oh, once again, you're my brother, but you're really getting old. It's fantastic <laughs> to you guys, even though over all these times, you're still there and you've still got the stories. Any more of those stories coming out? Maybe, Jackie, you've got a response to Derek? No, well, no, Derek, uh, you see, um, in Destiny, you've got to be the right team. And definitely at Le Mans, you need a partner. Um, Derek has been the most fantastic partner I had uh, at Le Mans and in long distance racing generally. And um, we had the same thoughts on a number of subjects and uh, the basic idea was to try to win. And that's what we, we did. But I like to remember the drivers are the drivers are important, no doubt. But if you don't have the right car, if you don't have all these people who work in the shade, um, even if you're talented, uh, you cannot uh, you cannot win, definitely. And Derek, 
you know, here in the virtual world, we've got a team of engineers. We've got two simulators actually in uh, the studio here. We've got Alpine and IDEC and LMP2, and they've got their engineers working with the drivers. That whole mentality, that teamwork, that bonding, the difference between the drivers and the setup and things is exactly the same as it was in your day, as it is in my day, as it is in their day. This sort of thing I don't think will ever change when you come to Le Mans. No, it, it won't. I mean, it, it is amazing to see these guys racing around there as if as, as genuine as you can get. I think it's phenomenal what they've, they've done. I just hope we don't have to swatch it for the rest of my life because I hope we can get back to some proper racing, Alan. And, but it is still, nonetheless, absolutely brilliant what they're doing and the way everybody's working at it, as you say, with the engineers doing things. Um, but um, no, it's great to see and it's just lovely to see Le Mans there and it appears there's a crowd too in certain places. Yeah, at the moment we're obviously simulating Le Mans because we would have been there and we would all have been there and we'd have been enjoying the start of the race. We're coming up to sort of night time and seeing where things are. Tell me, are you guys going to get into a sim at some point or is that maybe just one step too far at the moment? Well, as far as I'm concerned... As far as I'm concerned, I'm far away. Um, yes, I belong from another century, but I think you have to live with your time, definitely. And what is fantastic is the confrontation with the expert, was I heard with the sim drivers and the drivers as well, because basically the, the major change between yesterday and today is that most of the drivers, practically all of them, practice on simulators. So there is not such a, a big gap between the two. But the simulator and uh, e-racing, it's uh, a fantastic opportunity for those who don't have the opportunity to become drivers or to create a new generation of people and uh, um, to interest a new generation into motor racing. And uh, at the end, yes, we will all be back at, uh, at Le Mans maybe in, the, in September, because it's the COVID-19, or we'll decide if we go or if we don't know. But this is a fantastic weekend. We really enjoy it. And uh, as Derek says, uh, what we see is just unbelievable, because I see some crowd around the track. Anyhow, it's so perfect that you see people, marshals and everything. Unbelievable. Great game. Derek, are you going to be joining us at Le Mans in September? Well, that's the idea, yeah. I, I, I was meant to be, um, <laughs> I don't know. I, I was under the impression I was the Grand Marshal this year, so I probably will be there, Alan. So you better be good. I'll always be good for you, sir. But gentlemen, <laughs> all I can say is that Le Mans is about breaking new ground and I think we've maybe seen new ground being broken today at the same time though it needs people to inspire and both of you inspired me and my generation a Tom Christensen a Dindo Capello Frank Bela and all of these guys into wanting to try and follow in your footsteps but I've got to say they were very very fast footsteps so with 11 victories between you congratulations and I hope you enjoy the rest of this virtual race and very much look forward to seeing you when it comes to the real race in September Gentlemen, well done. Thank you, Alan. Bye. Bye, to bye, the wider Derek. Benedict's family, I hope bye. you're safe and well. Thank you.